can you truly compete for a championship? Oh, I'm hoping that we can go out right away. You know, I don't know. Honestly, I have not talked to the coaches. I don't know the schedule outside LSU. I don't know what they have returning, and I don't know what they've recruited. But I guess tonight I can start calling people. I'm going to find out. I got a great call right coming over here from Jim Gilligan, my good friend at Lamar. Jim's been there 37 years. He said, Mace, welcome back. We played all those people when I was coaching Southeastern, Nichols, McNeese, Northwestern. It's going to be fun. It's not going to be easy because that's a great conference. But, you know, I didn't take this job to lose, and hopefully we're going to go out and have a good time and do what we got to do. You were in your mid-40s. You left a great program at the time for a promotion of sorts. Uh, is there unresolved business? Did you feel like maybe you got out of what you loved too soon? Well, no. You know, I had to make a decision at that time. And thank God the university had trust in me. I was doing two jobs. I leave the house at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I had all the other coaches to attend to. I had, we could play as many games. We are playing 60, 70 games back those days, and I wouldn't get home till 11, 11.30 at night. The kids were in bed. And it dawned on me one day I came home between the regional. My wife said, this is the first time we've had dinner since April. And so I had to make a decision back then. And of course, being the AD, it needed a lot of attention. I made a decision. When ultimately I had it going, I mean, we had some great teams, but I had to make that decision and I never regret it. And I'm not coming back because I want to prove anything. Who knows what will happen? But I'll guarantee you, these kids are going to have a wonderful experience. They're going to get coached. They're going to have fun doing it. We'll get better every day. They will graduate on time. And... I don't have anything to prove. I'm not looking to go anywhere else but here. This is it. Did your uh, family have any reservations at first about you taking the job, getting back into such a, a you know what? Position? You know what? I came home, and I'm at every Zephyr game, and my wife said, you got to be kidding me. You, you sure you want to do this? And I said, yes. And my son came over. John came over. My daughter came over. The grandkids were there. You know, they think of Papa's Field now, they're confused when I bring them out here. But no, they were so supportive, and, and that was the reason, too. I, if I didn't have that support, if I thought I was going to be away so much and couldn't, because my grandkids, they're everything I got. I love it. Talk about the unusual prospect of playing in a ballpark that bears your name. No, oh, that's special. I've never thought of that, Kenny. And that, you know, that. Uh, that just, I told Dr. Foss, it's a tremendous responsibility, and I appreciate them to even consider me for this job. And I accept that responsibility with a lot of pride. And, uh, you know, these, these athletes, these kids, the Randy Bushes, the Tim Floyds, the, guy, the people that have worked so hard for this university to make it what it is, we, we got to get it back. I've been around all these guys in pro ball, and invariably they came in and go, Mace, at the University of New Orleans, hey, you guys used to have a pretty good program. What happened? Well, I don't know what happened, but I'm not worried about what happened. I'm worried about what's going to happen, and that's what we're going to do. And we're going we're gonna to have a lot of character. You know, I've had, we're right across the street from the Saints. I've seen how they've done it. We're going to recruit kids with character that are going to be here, that are going to represent the university well. And uh, that's my goal. Kick Maneri's butt. The biggest challenge, you know, I got some advice yesterday. It's really funny. Uh, Jack McCann said, Mace, get some big sunglasses so they can't tell if you're asleep in a dugout. No. <laughs> uh, the biggest challenge, I guess, is, uh, is going out every day and making a difference in these kids' lives. That's what I want to do. I want to give them everything that I've got um, to teach them how to play the game, to make sure they go to class, to make sure they graduate, to make sure that they're good people and that they help their community. And if I can do just half of that, I think I would have succeeded.
the W's and L's, I'm at the stage of my life. I didn't come back. You know, we want to win, but I didn't come back. It's more about the kids and to make sure that they enjoy what they're doing. That's what it's about.